Hey, what's up guys? It's Chris with AndroidandMe.com. Yeah, that's right. AndroidandMe.com. Pretty cool, huh? So today's little tip or trick or hack or whatever you want to call it is just for the uh, rooted G1 and MyTouch users. So it doesn't really apply to anyone that has an N1 or a Liquid, if you know anybody that has that phone, um, or any of the other phone Android handsets out there. Right now this is just for the G1 and MyTouch. And uh, a friend of mine sent me, I guess, a little tip off on Twitter and he told me about this new radio update that just came out. I'm not really too sure where the radio update came from. Uh, I think some guy extracted it from... extracted it from <laughs> someone else's ROM or something. I, I can't remember but anyways he took it from some other update that was out or something and then he uh, just took out the radio update part and then he flashed it onto the G1 and on the MyTest 3G and now what this does is it will increase your reception so you'll have more bars in more places and places where you might have only had edge or bad reception now you might actually have 3g or um like full bars just when you thought like your g1 could go no no further there's going to be no more cool stuff coming out for it uh we get a totally awesome hack slash upgrade that just uh just makes the phone pretty legit I'm going to show you guys how to install it. It's super easy, so there's really no fuss or complicated steps at all, but um, I could just actually write them out, but people still have questions, so uh, I'm just gonna show you guys how to do it. So simple, so easy, so don't go anywhere. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is just uh, connect your phone to your computer. Once it's connected, of course, just mount to your, mount your SD card to your computer. And then we are going to go to your SD card. Should be something like that. I know this is pretty basic and everyone should know this, but I will just walk you through even the simple, easy, ridiculous steps. Grab the radio, drag and drop it onto your SD card. Give it a sec. All right, it's all done. Let's go ahead and eject. Uh, continue, I don't know why it said that. It's kind of alarming. Uh, okay, it's ejected. We got our phone here. We are going to unmount, turn off the mount or whatever it's called. And we're going to power down into recovery. So you can't just click reboot phone and then hold the home button. I'm going to be doing that as soon as it turns off. Here we are. All right, so we're at recovery. And we are just going to flash the uh, zip file that we have on there to the new radio. So let's go ahead. Uh, I'm not even gonna mention the pink Care Bear recovery that I have. Won't even go there. Won't even do it. Click on it. Now it's going to ask you to press home to confirm. Uh, I may edit this out for time, but I probably won't. Maybe I'll just leave it in, just so you can see in real time how long it takes in case someone else has any other problems. Like, is this supposed to take 35 minutes? Because I've been waiting and it's verifying. And, oh, see, that's it. Now it tells you to reboot via home plus back or menu to complete installation. So of course you just want to reboot. Now it's going to be finishing, or it's going to be writing the radio image now. Before it was just kind of doing some other stuff, but basically it's finishing the installation now. So <clears throat> this is kind of the longer part. You're going to see an HTC screen pop up. There it is. 
just give that a minute, it's gonna finish installing, and once it's done, it's going to pop back into the recovery again. Now, some people ask me about, uh, I guess, upgrading the radio and SPL the first time. This is basically the same steps, but we're just not upgrading the, um, the SPL. Now, if we were gonna upgrade the SPL, what you would do is, when it boots back into recovery, you would just flash, like I just did, the, the SPL. Uh, I use Hikuro SPL because it's the best and it just works on everything. I've never had a problem flashing ROMs before, so... Um, just kind of talking here while we're waiting. And then once you're done flashing the, the SPL, it would boot back into recovery again, in which case you would just reboot once more. It's showing the T-Mobile G1 screen... Oh, oh, God! Jeez! God! Can't we... Ah! Can you get the dog away? She's like attacking me. Come on, honey. Trying to record some videos, ma. Gosh. Jeez. Okay, so here we are, back of the recovery. Um, I don't know what happened to my Care Bear, but it's still in pink, so that's cool. Reboot once more to get back into your ROM. Bada boom, bada bing. You're gonna see the G1 screen, and then you're gonna boot right back up into the ROM, so it's pretty easy. I have heard of a few instances of some people where uh, it messes up the ROM once they do the radio. I heard it's like a very few amount of people, but it does happen, so if that does happen and you don't get into your ROM or you do and it's all messed up and stuff, then basically let it almost boot up or get as far as it can go. Um, power back down into recovery and then just wipe and reflash the ROM again, so. Uh, hopefully you don't have any important stuff that, that you need to uh, back up. So you might want to back up before doing the radio. You should always back up before doing anything crazy. Even though this isn't really crazy. This is just regular. Um, simple stuff. So simple. I didn't actually need to make a video on how to do it, but some people ask, and here it is. <laughs> Alright, so that was it, guys. Super easy, right? <laughs> you guys are totally going to flip out at the amount of raw reception power that you have now out of your little uh, chunky twinkie G1. Oh, and my touch too, if that's your pleasure. <laughs> As you probably could have told by the cool new intro that I have, I am now going to be affiliated, I guess, with Android and me. Um, they're probably like one of my top favorite Android sites. So just go ahead and hit up that website. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to comment, rate, subscribe as always, and I'll see y'all soon.